we have four more Canadian teams to get to. We have 14 games in total on Wednesday night. We're going to get to all of them, but we had to start with our Edmonton Bureau Chief, Ryan Rashog, because uh, this has become a desperate situation for the Edmonton Oilers, who had lost two straight going into their game against Carolina, as you know, Ryan, and then found themselves down 5-1 after 22 minutes. Can you explain what happened here? I can't, Jay. I can't explain it. I, I'm not sure because the last few games they'd gotten off to good starts. And then the problem on those nights was they couldn't hold on to the lead. So they had that problem going on. Well, tonight, not a great start. Uh, it almost seemed like they were kind of doomed from the beginning here. I mean, from Darnell Nurse getting hit in the head with a puck in warm-up, put a helmet on everybody. Now well, the league hasn't uh, made sure of that yet, seems odd. So Darnell Nurse, Stuart Skinner goes for a slide across the blue line. Then on that first goal, just all kinds of bad luck. And then they started making their own bad luck after that. They're just not a resilient group. When bad things happen, they crater. They ended up, uh, Caroline ended up losing their starting goalie after 20 minutes. Kochetkov went in. You know how the orders responded to a cold goalie? Four shots in the second period, Jay. That's all they did. This team's mojo is gone. And they are scrambling to try and find it. Bit of a push in the third but it was peanuts compared to what they normally are able to bring. Ryan, one of the things that we've been talking to our hockey analysts all week about, it, there seems to be a consensus that this team needs to just go out and get a goalie regardless of what it costs them. It seems like a desperation move. They'd be dealing from a position of massive weakness, as you know, but do you agree with that, with that assessment? Do they need to just go out and get someone who can stop the puck? I don't think it's time to go make a stupid trade. I don't. I don't think it's ever that time. So, you know, we're not in the room. We don't know exactly what all the deals are. But if you're talking about going high level for somebody and firing a bunch of, I mean, just think of the assets you're going to have to send out the door just to move Jack Campbell. That's going to be astronomical with what his contract sits at. Oh, and then the acquisition cost of whatever goal you bring in. So if you're thinking high end, I don't think that trade is going to be there. Now, would it be wise to just try and pull the trigger and get a fresh face in that at least has a puncher's chance of changing the dynamic a bit? Probably. That's what they hoped Pickard would be when they brought him up from the minors. And neither goaltender was great tonight, but neither were the core problem either. I don't know if it needs to be a goaltender. It'd be good if they could upgrade there, Jay. But honestly, if you think about the situation Ken Holland's in, he swapped out Jack Campbell, right? He swapped out the, the head coach. Um... But I don't think he can be finished there. It's You can't take a team that has this much talent on it in a year where they were supposed to be a cup contender and sit on your hands while they're just languishing and dying on the vine. Ken Holland needs to figure out something to help this group, whether it's a third liner, a fourth liner, a defenseman, something. You can't tell me that there just simply are no trades out there and it's impossible. That doesn't make sense. So to sit on your hands through this mess is a fireable offense, quite frankly. You know he's working the phones, but at a certain point, to your point, you probably just got to do something to shake things up, as long as it's not catastrophically stupid as far as assets go. We thought maybe this road trip would be good for this team. It's been a disaster. They've got the Caps on Friday, then they return home to face the Ducks. Ryan, you're the best. We've got four more Canadian teams to get to, so let's start the highlight machine right now. Shoggy, we capped you with Dave Randorf. I mean.